Hello and welcome to our today. Happy Monday. I'm working in my Strathmore toned gray uh, journal booklet again, just like last week where I drew this leather jacket. And the prompt that I'm working with today is um, um, illustrate your favorite quote. Now, uh, the quote that I thought about, or hmm, I'm a little weird, guys, if you haven't noticed. Let me tell you something new. I'm a little weird. And uh, that means that in this particular case, for this particular um, prompt here, I am actually um, separating something like a saying with something um, of a quote. So... I'm not gonna illustrate my favorite saying um, because, well, actually, <laughs> it's just way too long and it is not really um, illustratable, let's put it this way. And it uh, it is quoted to, or it is said to have been said by very many different people, but... Uh, I like that it uh, was supposedly also said by uh, Ludwig von Beethoven, my favorite classic composer. And um, it goes something like, um, uh, don't only practice your art, but force your way into its secret for then um, men can raise to the divine. It goes along. That. So this is not something that I want to um, illustrate here. That's maybe something that I want to have inked on my body at one point, but uh, not in a sketchbook. So I went with something like a, more of a quote in terms of, yeah, this is how I see a certain situation or a certain thing in life. And uh, the quote that I decided to illustrate today is uh, when life gives you lemons order a big bottle of tequila with it so uh, it's not necessarily to the point that it's uh, yeah let's all just get drunk and be alcoholics no it's like more to the point um, of well when when things go really badly in your life don't forget about the good things and don't forget to loosen up once in a while and uh, balance your mood and your way you handle things while you cope with the not so great things. And uh, people who have been well following me uh, uh, since the end of last year know that I'm in such a currently not so great uh, time so uh, I I ordered I think I should order a big bottle of tequila with the lemon so this is what I want to illustrate and I do have a yellow a lemon yellow graphite pencil here and a uh, that is uh, what is it zero dot oh yeah zero dot seven millimeters and this one is zero dot seven as well but it is a uh, normal graphite mechanical pencil so I want to use those for sketching today and uh, I just want to have well a couple of lemons and uh, work a bit with uh, colored pencils maybe I got um, colored pencils next to me uh, on the other desk and I just want to have something I don't know like these motivational posters or mm, postcards that you sometimes see in shops where, well, they've, they've got the bar quotes, as I like to call them. Um, or these uh, pseudo funny kind of quotes. So let's see, I'm starting with the lemon. Are you able to see anything? Yeah, kind of ish, I hope. <laughs> So I'm starting with the light lemon yellow here just to sketch out um, a lemon there. Mm. Uh, 
And it should be like a basket of lemons. Because the quote says, it, well, the original ones is, um, I think it is, uh, if life serves you lemons, make lemonade or something. Which is pretty much the same thing as order the tequila. But since I'm an adult, I am I think I'm allowed to have tequila in my quote instead of... Mm, instead of um, lemonade. So I'm going to have a little tiny bit of a basket, I think, of lemons. I'm just going to sketch that out with the light yellow pencil here. Could very well go with the graphite pencil too, but I think that uh, this is maybe a little easier uh, erasable, so why not go with that? So um, then there's the bottom of the bowl. And I really have to say these kinds of quotes um, or prompts, actually, not the quotes, ah, oh, gosh, the prompts, they do really help with the current struggle of creativity, um, which is, well, I, as I hear it, <laughs> it's, it's quite common when you're in a depressive episode. So, um, and well, looking back and remembering at former episodes of mine, I can definitely uh, say that this is very true, but these prompts help. So it doesn't have to be the greatest art that you do every day, all day long, but you know, it sometimes just helps to well, do art and be creative and train the muscle until you get really better and something, some big idea is calling to you, you know. So putting in a second lemon that is going to be already halved and then I'm going to have a somewhat of a lemon wedge. By now you should be able to see what I'm doing there. I hope it's not too light <coughs> on screen. I mean, I can see it on screen, but uh, sometimes what I see on screen looks a bit different than what I see while I'm in post-production. <laughs> when it comes to the computer screen, some things look way more yellowish than they do here while I'm recording. Well... <sighs> as they do in real life. So I'm gonna erase the lines that I'm, I think I don't need. Maybe I should have a bowl of lemons, so something like a ceramic bowl instead of a basket. That could be something. But uh, let's go for the sketch of the lemons. So they do have these pockets. Let's find the center. There's the center of my lemon. <sighs> center and then going outwards. Going to uh, draw in these pockets. So this is my first full week back in the studio. I have been recording before, but I haven't been recording for the vlog, for example, which just reminds me I should uh, 
activate the vlogging camera to get some footage. There we go. So, yeah, I haven't been uh, collecting footage for vlogging or anything. And this week, well, I'm back in the studio. I'm back to work post workation or whatever you want to call it. So let's see how this week goes. I actually, this sounds so pathetic, probably, I know. I don't have really have any high expectations for this week. I uh, am currently, well, just taking one day at a time, which, uh, um, which helps me make sure that I, well, keep well within my energy levels and not, um, well, get too close to that one point where uh, I could very easily spiral in my current depress depressive episode. So um, I just really have to take one, ta one day at a time and see, okay, how am I feeling? How's creativity helping me today? What do I want to do today? What do I have to do today? Uh, where do I want to focus my energy on and such and I have to do that also for artwork I don't like to do that for artwork because I just like to go all in and draw paint color create all hours of the day but currently I can't so I just got to be a little uh, a little bit careful and I think that the idea of um, Having 2018 be under the motto and the focus of, uh, of improving my drawing skills, um, it just really helps because I can, um, I can definitely, well, oh gosh, I don't want to say spend less hours. But, um, well, it's not less hours with artwork, not at all, but it is less hours when it comes to everything in preparation for the videos or cleaning up the studio and such. Mixed media artwork is way more cleaning intensive as a drawing is with a, with a pencil in a, in a notebook. So that time there... Uh, is saved for me and I can either spend that time on more drawings or I can spend it on well things I have to take care of in private life or my volunteer work or my ancestry project and stuff so I can distribute my energy maybe a bit better so I think it was my subconscious uh, was really clever when it decided to, well, go for drawing this year and focus on that. Do I want a leaf? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Uh, but hmm. no, let's start with a leaf. Uh, since I'm working with two, two different kinds of pencils here, I think I should work uh, front to back. Uh, to well save myself from erasing a couple of um, lines as I'm going to do now. I have to erase things here. So there's There's a leaf here. And I didn't look up any references for the shape of lemon leaves. So I'm just going to give it kind of this 
uh, rhombus. Is it a rhombus kind of a shape? And I'm going with the number three, so three bits of lemon, three leaves, because odd numbers are actually very pleasing to the eye. And the number three and the number five are particularly pleasing to the eye, so I am going to use three leaves. I move my book a lot today. I'm sorry, I hope I'm always in frame. And now I can move on to my graphite pencil for the bottle of tequila. That will be, I'm not going to put in any salt, I think. Do I want a salt shaker? Nah, because that would be four objects then, because leaves, bowl of lemons and the bottle is another three. So I think I just want to stay with three items and determine right about now where my uh, where my ground is, where everything is sitting on. And because there are spirals, I'm going to turn my book and Draw in my bottle. Hmm, let's see. No, that's not correct with the line here. The bottle should stand back. Oh, let's take away that line. The bottle should not be. <laughs> the same depth as my bowl it should be in the background I think that's way more pleasing so it should be something like here so it will go something like this and I want just a tiny or small bottle of tequila don't have to have a huge barrel <laughs> of tequila there it's just just a little, tiny little bit to sweeten life to help with, um, well, still not forgetting that there are good parts and, um, well, parts that are worth of uh, pursuing and celebration and such. There's still good parts even when life is really sour in uh, one particular time and I'm really struggling with talking in a acceptable speed while I try to um, bring down uh, uh, draw in the bottleneck here I hate bottlenecks by the way it's just like flies or uh, moths or butterflies copying the one thing ah uh, it's really not that easy there we go that's more like it it could be a hand made not industrially produced kind of a, te a bottle of tequila so more like a uh, unique handmade or mouth made because glass is actually blown that kind of a tequila bottle there we go
rounding off the bottom. And uh, let's Let's cork this. Well, again, it's some very special, super uh, handmade, rare kind of a tequila here. It's no way in <laughs> industrial fashion. <laughs> And then it needs a label and some, let's put it up to here, the liquid. And then let's have the label go off. Off to the side. Something like this. So now I could either just shade all of this with graphite pencil or I could use colored pencils. And guess what, guys? I really like colored pencils. So, yay, of course, I'm gonna use them. Uh, where's my sharpener? But I'm uh, not going to take every color in the book or in my flower pot in this case. But just a few shades of yellow and green, blue, gray, black probably for the lemons and of course white. And for the bottle, well, we'll see. But um, let's start off with a bit of a bit of uh, white coloring here. I have these membranes of the lemon in there. That would be this one. And I need a bit of a darker tone or a bit of a greenish tone, maybe. But a yellow green. So let's go for these. And 
just going to go over the uh, yellow graphite pencil thing and bring in the yellow here for these uh, lemon juice pockets. Notice I'm not going to go all the way to the top of the pockets. Going to leave quite a bit there. For the lemon, uh, for the for the greenish tone, the um, may green or lemon lime green to go in on top. Then I'm going to take a bit of a grey or a black, oh no, that's the brown ones. Let's take a dark grey, or should I take a dark blue? Hmm, maybe both, maybe both, because I want to have a little bit of somewhat of an outline or a shadow a detail because this is all very uh, flat now of course and I just need a very thin line but I need it to be visible so I like the gray actually. And I'm just using a very light touch here to add this gray. I'm also going to add a bit here on the and the peel of the lemon. Same on this side. Maybe a bit of the gray on top because again I'm shading. Shading things. I guess the light should come from the upper right hand side this time round. I don't do that very often so well let's just do it now. Which means I can bring in a little more of the dark here. But just a bit. Now uh, on to the peel of the first lemon. Lemon, lemon, lemon. Just going to add a bit of the yellow. And then I need a darker shade, and I'm going to take something of a uh, of a sun yellow, so a way warmer tone. of green maybe Sh 
shading it with a bit of the gray. And hmm, I'm thinking, no, I'm going to put a bit of the blue in here as well. Having a little too, uh, a, a little too um, few of a contrast or two, it's not enough. Uh, contrast there so let's add a bit of the blue and there we enhance contrast and interest mm -hmm. going on to the well, let's go with the big lemon here Notice I'm not going to go all the way to the edge with the yellow yet. I want to have a reflection there or a highlight because again light is going to come from the upper right hand side. So I'm going to put a little bit of the white underneath. I'm going to go over that with the yellow. But it will provide somewhat of a highlight there. To um, my lemon, if I'm able to have a very light lemon yellow here, see. And I can go on top with the darker colors towards the shadow, which would be on this side here. And I like to blend it into the green too. bit more of the lemon yellow and I'm going to shade this one with gray and such uh, once I have the third lemon colored and I'm uh, moving forward to the inner part of the bowl here. That would be that going in with the yellow. And uh, just like with the first lemon, adding a bit of the green here. Just think it adds a bit to the interest there. It's maybe a brand new lemon that has been crossed and uh, bred with a lime. So who knows? It might be a totally new kind of a plant. Now I wonder if I gave any um, 
biologists any funny ideas? <laughs> Probably not. Probably they already uh, thought about stuff like that. I have the gray in. Gonna shade the gray here on the white rind of the lemon. Going to add the blue. And my white here. Now I can start shading things to the point that they uh, are a little more separated from each separated from each other. So that lemon here in the back, just gonna shade it a bit of gray on the bottom or on the lower part, so that this light section here of the wedge of the lemon stands out a bit more and for the bowl I think I want somewhat of a light gray or something on the inner part of the bowl so I'm just going to take the white And then put the dark gray on top. And I didn't put down the white everywhere, like in a solid layer, as you can see here. On some spots, the dark gray is the first pencil to hit the paper, which I can then use to uh, blend things nicely. Number one, I'm getting there. The white is quite opaque, that luminance pencil. So uh, it actually really helps with, um, with the highlights, not losing them on the way here, which is pretty good. Oops. And of course, because lemons, the at least this bowl has a lemon yellow rim. And I probably also want a little bit of the dark blue here on the, on the ceramic, just a bit. Just adding a little bit of oomph there. <coughs> Sorry. Ah. I'm getting way better with my cough, but uh, when I talk a lot, it still wants to appear once in a while. By far not as often anymore as last week, but it still wants to hang out with the adults. That's, yeah. Soon it's gonna be gone, though, I think. 
in the white and now on this part here I can actually go a little darker or a little heavier with the shadow because that part of the bolt probably not hit by the light so I'm just adding a little bit of the of the white but I had also said that I would now start shading the lemon here that one uh, complete lemon that one uncut lemon so I should start doing so Okay, before I go any further with the lemon shading though, <coughs> I would now uh, start the rest, uh, start shading the rest of the bowl, at least of the inner part of the bowl. I can decide on the color and such on the outer part of the bowl in a minute. But I should have shading down here first. Going in with a little more of the blue, just a bit, and then blending that with my white. Not to forget the yellow rim so I go on top of the uh, pencil sketch with my colored pencil here I'm using just the lightest touch here with the blue to shade my big lemon just a bit. Don't want it to look too green or too gray, but it has to bit of uh, has to have a bit of a dimension or something. Okay. There we go. Um, let's have the outer rim of the front part of the lemon. I can go in with a bit of the blue here on top to separate the lemon and um, that yellow rim. I 
There we go. And now the outer part. Hmm. I guess I just want to go with the same tones as the inner part of the bowl. I kind of like it. The leaves will be green. And the tequila will either be an orange tone because it's going to be something like an orange tequila or it will be see-through. So I think it would work. Oh, that was my vlogging camera. That would work well with both. <coughs> so let's change batteries here quickly. Sorry about that. <coughs> yeah, I think. It would work rather well. Um, so I'm going to bring in a bit of the light here. But not too much of it. Um, the light comes from the upper left hand side so most of this down here is going to be in the shadow so i don't really need to have a lot of white there i will probably have quite a bit of the dark blue and then a bit of black there But having the white on underneath here, you can see it makes for a nice uh, smooth mid-tone. So I kind of like that. What will also happen is I will um, uh, cover up the yellow sketch here. Of that outline of the bowl. Because that would be uh, not appropriate to leave it there. But I could add a bit of the blue here to have a maybe a, a, sh a, a, sh yeah, a shadow tint. <laughs> That's a word. Um, to have the shadow be tinted in a different uh, with a different color or a certain color. So because of a tablecloth or something that I could do here. And I can do the same here. It will also help emphasize the shape of the bowl. And there's parts of um, parts of it that are more in the dark or more tinted a certain way, like here, the outside. 
of the bowl is tinted more towards the blue and here I will have more of a grayish green probably because reflection from the leaves would be a reason. So then it, uh, that, that concept helps with letting you see the shape of the bowl without it being flat. <coughs> that would be that. Um, need the black. So the leaves cast shadow onto the bowl. Now I have to choose a green for the leaves and I'm going to use that same green in uh, the reflection of the bowl here and I think this is a nice green. So let's put some of it down. and blend it out with a little bit of the um, lime green kind of a tone. A little more of the darker green, not to get too light. <clears throat> and then I can go on top with the dark gray and the white and the blue and the black to bring it all together. Starting with the gray. Adding a bit more of the black. more of the blue, just a bit. And I can go on top with the white and do a bit of a blending work here with the gray.
So all the colors here underneath that I'm now blending with the white pencil, they, uh, they are not lost. Um, they are shading the bowl. without looking um, without it looking too um, flat one-dimensional or um, simply too busy because uh, you couldn't really see what kind of material the the bowl is supposed to be made of now you know it's porcelain <laughs> or glazed ceramics but there is a reflection on the bowl too okay go in now with the black and bring back that line Oh, sorry. And that is the lemon ball. Uh, the leaves will... Yeah, that was the green I used. The leaves I'm just quickly going to color. They're not in the light. They're all in the shadow. So I don't really have to take care of um, a lot of tones here. But I will bring in uh, blue and black to shade. Dark blue is a wonderful color to shade dark green or a green uh, tone in general. They really play well together. And the third one.
Okay, these are the leaves. <coughs> now I have to decide if I or hmm, I could decide now if I want to um, color the table or whatever it is that this is standing on next or if I want to go with the bottle next and I think I want the bottle because I will have a few reflections or whatever maybe sparkle onto a tablecloth a, a possible tablecloth so I don't know yet what color I will choose so maybe I should hold up with <coughs> Sorry, any uh, reflection there? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Should have a tea, which I'm doing. Wonderful sip of tea while I think about what uh, colors I want to use uh, for the tequila. And I think I want a clear white tequila, not an orange one. Mm. So the first thing I have to color then is the cork, which I like to have with um, a yellow ochre. And a brown, oh gosh, now I have to turn the page again because it's kind of difficult to otherwise shade things. Gonna go on top. Um. Uh, Where's my black? There it is. So since I uh, outlined this bottle with the graphite pencil, I'm going to have a couple of outlines uh, added here then, or a li little bit of a black pencil added uh, here then to um, bring all of it together but still keep my graphite pencil outlines. So this is the cork. Um, I need a light blue for the bottle. Mm, a cold light blue. Kind of like you. Mm. I also like you. So let's go with the light tone first. Uh, where's my white? There it is. So now I can go in and set highlights. And that is why I why you see me. Uh, rub the pencil on my fingers so often because I'm um, smudging other colors with it so uh, I, I pick up pigment from um, other colors so I always have to clean my white pencil here. So let's go with a bit of a blue. Mm. 
And let's have a bit of a white here on the fluid reflection. I will definitely have a light blue tablecloth or something because I'm picking up reflections here on this bottle. So now I have to put that color somewhere in the surroundings. And I think the tablecloth would be perfect. Having this be white and blue with a bit of grey. I think that would be Ooh, a great thing if I wouldn't throw down my pencils. Oh my gosh. I could also have a bit of a brown here from the cork just using the same colors that I used in the surroundings to um, color stuff here on this bottle will actually help to make this look somewhat cohesive And a bit of a dark blue here to uh, shape this. And the label. I'm going to take care of the label in a minute. Let's just color the tequila for now. I'm going over it with a whole layer of the white. And then going in with a very gentle bit of the blue. Really very gently only applying this colored pencil, not too much. Just a bit. Bringing in the other blue to have a bit of an interest here on the label. And the rest is going to be white. But I have to uh, sharpen my white pencil.
And now I can go in with my dark blue. And uh, add a bit of a shadow and interest here on the liquid. Adding a bit of a black pencil on the on the left side here. So just saw I added the white pencil to the right hand side because there is light. There we go, and now a little more down here. With the light blue. And now for the label, I think I want uh, the same yellow ochre maybe, or a gray. Hmm, let's see. What color would make it pop? Actually an orange, because I'm having quite the blue there. So uh, what I'm going to do is have a light gray. Yeah, that one. Where's the tiny gray? It might be a little lighter, so I'm going to take the tiny gray. <laughs> Could soon be in my glass of, hey, those pencils are far too small to use for coloring. So I'm just going to... Have that light tone gray here for the label. Very smooth and everything. And then I can go in with orange. my dark tone and write the label it 
starting with the Q. Uh, to make it look as if the label would go around the, the bottle. So I can hmm. I need a little more of the orange here just to make it a little more prominent. Now I can take care of the label, so I'm going to go in with the other light grey. Which just smooths out the first layer without darkening it up. And I need a little bit of a... Do I need a white? Hmm, yeah, a bit. Just a little bit here. So here. Moving on to the black. Giving this a little bit more oomph with my outline here. And also just a little bit of a shadow here underneath or behind the bowl. Just a little bit, not too much. I don't want this to look too dark. And here on the bowl, I'm having just the thinnest outline. Uh, a little more white. Maybe having the Q even be in a red tone just to have even more interest. Let's take this one not dark enough so let's go for this one There we go, just to have a little bit of interest and contrast, a smidge of dark blue, just on the cue. Like that, that could be, could be something.
something of a brand or whatever. Now I just have to add a little bit more of the dark here. And um, then I can go on the towards the tablecloth or whatever and uh, call it a day. So I'm going to put the horizon here, which uh, is pretty much everything underneath this bit here to the south that would be the tablecloth so I'm going in with a bit of white kind of like an undertone or a uh, base coat pretty much for for this and then I can go in with the dark blue that I want So the light blue, because again that is reflected in the bottle. And that is why my table is having a nice shade of blue. Now I'm going to blend this part out with the white and by changing up the direction I actually get into the valleys here of the paper and make sure that I blend out everything well and nice and smooth before I go into the direction of the table again. Now I can shade a bit underneath the bottle. Very softly though. the other blue, the more cool blue that almost goes towards purple. Okay. And then of course my dark gray too because that is also helping for having this look like a nice shadow. So going forward, here I want a bit of the blue. And quite the dark blue here, because this is where the dark is. No light, no highlight at least.
-hmm. Next up is the dark grey, shading between those leaves and towards the bowl. And then a bit of black here because there is very dark shadow in there. Finding that leaf a little with my black pencil and I use a different kind of pressure. They're more of a medium heavy pressure to do that. Or the other bits that I drew or colored here, they were all with a very light hand. I'm going towards the bowl here. Bringing in the dark gray. And the dark blue. And of course, the black. And there is the shadow behind the bowl. So it's a little heavier towards the left. Also, that leaf here is casting a shadow. So that's why I'm pulling it down like this. And then this is where the light starts hitting. So I'm going to whiten this here. This is where the absolute highlight, oh gosh, my camera did die again, huh, no problem. Um, this is where the highlight is on the table or the tablecloth. So there's just going to be a bit of white here. And very little of the blue. Of course, I'm getting heavier with the blue when I hit the shadow parts. Maybe a little more of the white and then I think I am done. It's almost two hours that I worked on this. So, uh, like I said earlier, you can def definitely just invest as much time in a little sketch like this one here as you can in a full-blown mixed-media kind of a journal project 
uh, but this one is way less messy, so I'm saving time uh, when it comes to cleaning up my desk, which currently I'm just in need of. I need to be very careful with my time that I allot to things. Let me look without the glare. Yeah, not too shitty, I'd say. Here's my little lemon tequila drawing. <laughs> uh, I think I had the date on the last one. Yes, yes, I had. So today is the 8th of January. So let's put that down. January and there it is there is my drawing for uh, the quote if life serves you lemons order tequila with it and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel in case you're new. Uh, also, welcome. And um, uh, hit the bell button so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. The uh, uh, materials, so all the supplies I used, which pencils, what number, all of that, which exact um, notepad or drawing pad this is and all of that and a little bit of a close-up photo kind of a thing and that's going on on my blog right now so hop on over the link is in the description box below as you can see the details here uh, for this drawing and I'm going to be back next Monday with a new art day have a wonderful week enjoy take good care do something creative maybe a drawing maybe you would like to illustrate uh, your favorite quote or one of your favorite quotes I would love to see and hear what it is and uh, thanks for watching bye